So what's up everybody, Dr. McKay here and welcome back to another Space Engineers tutorial video. Now recently I've been asked a lot of questions on how to get up the menus, especially the respawn menu and the menu for dropping in resources and or items and that. So today's episode is going to be about those menus. So it's going to be quick, so we're going to, obviously this is on Xbox, so if you have the Xbox One controller you want to press right stick in the game it brings up these menus quick action blueprint menu view voxel hands now basically use your analog stick to basically look at what we have in the rectangle most of the symbols have a shorthand or a sh like shortcut to access it so obviously we look at select color it says r being down now we come out and get the HUD back up. You press RB, it changes the circle down at the bottom there next to the welder. And if you press down on the D-pad, it comes up the color menu. But we're not here for the color menu. We're here for other things. Mainly, blueprints, respawn, open the spawn menu, our progression tree, blueprint screen, so you know how to do blueprints, Obviously your view and then your voxel hands if you want to do voxel hands. So firstly, let's have a look at the first menu. Now we have camera mode which is to change from first to second, first to third person, toggle dampeners, your flashlight, your HUD, color tool, show your active contracts, your helmet and toggle broadcasting. Now all these can be done with shorthand or shortcuts using uh, the bumpers, the pads as well as the other buttons like X, Y, B and A. Now the blueprint menu, obviously we discussed this in the tutorial video on how to do the controls, but it's basically put, you aim at something, say the ship, right stick, and you do create blueprint and it will create the blueprint but to obviously create or not create but to spawn in a blueprint you hold right bumper and B and it loads and it comes up with all the things you've blueprinted and then you literally just press A on it so let me just for instance spawn this one in and there we go and obviously you can just spawn it in pressing right trigger Boom. That's basically your blueprints. Now, obviously, you can cut it. So, if you press right stick and then go to the cut grid, and you press A, obviously, to confirm that you want to cut the desired grid, it disappears. Boom. Easy. So, that's basically your blueprints. Now, we want to go to our spawn menu, which is in the menus on your right stick. It's the bottom one. And it comes up with all the items that you want you can spawn in so if you're doing creative mode or trying to do a narrative story it comes in handy and then you'll see you can literally spawn in every item in the game so obviously to do it let's just say you wanted let's just find something here let's just say you wanted some ammunition for your gun you use your D-pad to obviously go to where it is in the menu. Use your analog stick to go down to the amount. Press A, and then you type what you want. You know, 100, and then you go down to the spawn object using the D-pad. Press A, and it'll be there. And you press right trigger, boom, and there you have it. 100 NATO ammunition. Right, but also in this menu, which I only just learned, you can spawn in asteroids, planets, and empty the voxel map. So you could summon an Earth like moon or Mars, you know, basically the same, and obviously you could select the size. So if we want to say, let's just say we want up there, oh, wrong button. So we go down to spawn menu, and we say we want the moon. Use your analog stick to go down to size, and let's just say we want a size of 30 kilometers. Not get ex precise, maybe, maybe it can. Yep. I'm 
Not too short sure generation speed means, but just leave it as is. And then you press spawn, and it'll come up with the circle. And then you literally press right stick, the right stick, right trigger, and boom. Now you got a giant ass moon in the night sky. Or well, in the day sky. Almost night if it covered the sun. Anyway, that's how you spawn planets in, and also you could do the same with uh, asteroids as well. So you can generate an asteroid different size. Yeah, let's see if we can spawn one in. There you go. Asteroid field. Don't feel like I've rotated though. Don't let me rotate. But I can't really tell. Let me zoom find out a bit. Oh, there it is. Right there. Yeah, so you can literally have an empty star system and create it how you want. So, pretty, pretty good. And obviously, you have your progression tree, which shows obviously your progression, which is quite hard to navigate with a controller. But I just tend to use the D-pad on all blocks and then just whack your way down with your D-pad. If you just start using analog stick, it goes, it does go. But then you could see I'm now in the search bar. Now I can't. Yeah, you know, there you go. So it's a bit, a bit clunky, but it'll be fine. Yeah, you know? and obviously you can literally look at all your progression trees. So if you wanted to say apples. See, that's what happens when you use dialog stick. Alright, so you use D pad and you want to learn how to get a well, missile launcher. You have to look for the slightly dark grey square, that's your, where your D pad is. And now we're on the rocket launcher. So to unlock it, you need to obviously make the control stations, but first you need to make your landing gear. So basically, landing gear, control station, or cockpit, and then you have access to the rocket launcher. And then once you do that, you get the reloadable rocket launcher. So it's not too bad. What else have we got? Respawn menu. So if you're not happy with where you landed in your respawn pod, you click respawn. But I think it'll spawn me out of my survival kit, to be fair. Yeah. But if you didn't have a survival kit, so you'd have to probably land, cut your drop pod by using that menu to get rid of your respawn pod, and then you or your survival kit, and then you literally respawn in another pod in a different location. So that's that. And then obviously you've got your open chat, your admin menu, which basically gives you the ability to go creative mode, invulnerable, untargetable, show all players, can use all terminals, keep original ownership and paste, ignore safe zones, and obviously you can change the time of day by scrolling this bar. So you want nighttime, daytime. And you come up to the tools, you can do cycle objectives, entity lists, so cycle objects, and these obviously character, biggest grids, and obviously depending on what you want to look for, or if you get it right, do entities list, basically the same, so obviously you got a static grid, another static grid, which I don't know where it is, and obviously that one, small grid. One of the respawn pods, the other respawn pod, but you change it to let's just say floating objects. So it comes up with everything that's floating. So if you want to clear clear all your junk, you just go along and basically come down, use your analog stick to go remove and it'll remove it. So if you don't want it's a lot of junk on my server. <laughs> Let's just say. Well, I don't know. Can you do all the way down here? Remove an active ownership. Is that good? Oh, okay. So, as if you have another player that is inactive for a long time, you can remove all their stuff. So, it's not too bad. And then, obviously, you have safe zones, global permissions, replay tool, and economy. Now, economy is a good way of getting money if you don't want to earn it properly, you just pick yourself, go to amount, let's just say I want a million, oh. million, there you go, change, and I have a million in my balance, then you could also change the reputation of your faction, 
with factions, so I say. But basically doing the same, so you pick one, pick the force, pick yourself, pick the faction, and change them up. I can only go to 1,500. So let's just say I put 2,000. Present it. See, it says final rotation, 1,500. And you just change, and there'd be max rotation with that. No, oh, I'm in camera mode. There you go, right. So, I think we've covered that. All the major menus. Obviously, you've got your views, so spectator mode, show your active contracts and signal mode, and obviously voxel hands. Now, voxel hands, I always go for sphere, but you can do whatever you like. Obviously, you can create the ball of dirt. You can remove the ball of dirt by using left trigger. So, right triggers to create, right left triggers to get rid of. But you can also change the material. So, if you want alien grass, or you want Alien ice, or just normal grass. And obviously, your ores. You've got your gold, your silver, silicone, magnesium, cobalt, nickel, iron. Obviously, different types of iron. Same for snow, uranium, platinum. Different types of rocks, different types of stone. Then debug material, which is whatever it is, which is the, like a purple pink color. Rather weird, huh? And you just literally get rid of it. So if you are in creative mode and you don't want to like manually dig out a hole, you can literally just increase the size on the right on the D-pad. It makes a big thing, and then you press. Make sure you. It's a bit difficult to tell the distance, and then you press left trigger, and now we have a giant hole. Obviously, it works. Okay, a bit of floating grass there. But it's hard to get it to work right with where you are. So I normally go for the small one. And I think it's bugged. <laughs> yeah, it's bugged. But yeah, it's just a demonstration. So I think that's all the menus. But we if you ever get stuck and you wanna find out where it is. And obviously your right stick, no right stick, your left stick is obviously your building materials. So obviously your blocks, production and medical, gas and logistics, ship essentials, wheels and weapons, comms and hangers, windows and high tech, advanced system, decoration one, two. So easy peasy. Yeah. And if you're not sure on how to change grid, if you say I oh, find the one that you can change grid on, you press A and you cycle through well, you press A to cycle through the individual types of cockpit in or whatever one you're in. Then it's L, B, and X to change the size. And if you look just in the middle at the bottom, see the square changing from dark grey to white. That shows it going it from there. That shows it going from small grid to large grid. And you can do the same if you're trying to. Um, Frames me a minute. So that is at the minute large grid. Do you want to change it to small grid? Do the same L, B, and X. Change it to small grid. So large grid, small grid. Easy. So I think that's all I want to cover today on menus. I hope you found it informative. And if you have any other questions, you know, leave a comment down below. I've been Dr. McKay. And as always, happy building. And I'll catch you next time. Cheers.